Hello everybody, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. Last time we left off, we finished up at the Serif Manufacturing Plant, and uh, yeah, we already knew the hostages were dead, but we managed to save... For the life of me, I can't remember her name. <laughs> uh, we saved one hostage uh, at the end, but the uh, puppet leader of the terrorists, Zeke Sanders, managed to get away. And then we came back here for a debrief. But before we debrief, we're going to explore, see what we can find, all that kind of thing. Oh, I have to say, whilst I look for my office, which is somewhere either or on the next level up, um, I have to say, I'm thoroughly enjoying this game. I'm finding myself uh, playing it pretty much every day now. Uh, and I enjoy it immensely. The upgrading, the the music also is, I like the music and whenever I like the music you know it's gonna be a good sign. So yes, I am thoroughly, oops a daisy, sorry about that dear. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Alright, pop into my office, see if anything has changed since last time I was here. Ah yes, and as we ended the last uh, set of updates, I got a Praxis point again, and I said that I was going to uh, use my random select to uh, determine which upgrade I would be upgrading next, because my... Oh, some wine. I'm a, I like a glass of wine or two in the morning, in the evening, whenever it may be. Any new emails? Adam, I really don't mean to bug you on this, but I think I've got another suspect in those neuroposine thefts. I caught Denzel Mitchell going over my stack of Versa Life purchase orders. He said he needed to verify the legal address for a contract. David wanted him to look over. But he'd had that address on a dozen correspondences already. For a lawyer, you'd think he'd be able to come up with a better defense. His door code 1364. Good old Athene Margulis. What a name. Okay, so it's round two of the Neuroposine saga. Um, 1364 on his room. Uh, what's his call, sorry? Denzel Mitchell. Denzel Mitchell. Well, she didn't tell me what room he resides in, but I can, I can find it, I suppose. Yeah, so what was I saying? I was talking about my... Uh, my augmentation, that's it. Oh, God is right here. Um, 1364. Bing bong, door opening. Uh, yes, it's going to be a random selection process. I've picked a short list of uh, augments, which I like the sound of, and out of those, it's going to be completely random using random.org to determine which one I uh, upgrade next. And the random process selected for me this time, Dermal Armor. But that needs two points to uh, activate, so we shall have to wait until we get another Praxis point for that one. Global Politics Review, the 2026 edition. Okay, and I don't read these actually at the time of playing. I When I edit the videos and watch back the part, I look back for things I've missed, and then I read the ebooks as well, second time round. And also, it gives you, it saves you from listening to me harp on all the time uh, when I'm reading them. And also, if you want to skip them, you can do so quite simply. And if you want to read them, then you just have to pause the video. Pocket Secretary. However, I do read these because these are pertinent to the story. From Shin Ferret. You know, Denny, for a lawyer, a pretty cool dude. Thanks for checking the P.O.s. Wouldn't have done myself, but Sarah's bitch has my number for way too long. If she caught me with them, I've been toast. You know she's got Casey implants, don't you? Anyway, from what you told me, I'm sure Mika Pine's behind those thefts. She's in purchasing. Types out the P.O.s before Margulis signs them. It'd be so easy for her to change the figs after. She's out of the office till Thursday, so I just got into her office 
before then. Snake gave me the code to number 27. Next door to hers. 4145. And I'm thinking of letting myself in there and using the air ducts to cross into her office. Don't worry. I won't sue if anything goes wrong. Okay. So Mika Pine's office should be 20, probably 29 or 25. We go into 27 and sneak into the uh, air ducts next door. Sounds good. Some more pro energy bars. See if we can log into his computer. Ah ha ha! Unlocked computers. Okay, this is from Margulis. Executive assistant. Ah, some kind of chat. We can't let SWAT into that plant. There's too much. There's too much at stake. I'm calling Jensen in. He's still on medical leave. Frenet Ecopene. Who the hell's that? Ecopone. Fren fren frenetic Pony. Markovich gave him a clear bill of health last week. And how much pressure was she under? I resent that accusation. Resent it all you like, but you hired me to protect your ass. You got away with the surgeries because of the neat little claws we had in his contract. But if something happens to him now, it won't, trust me. It's your call. You save his life, for God's sake. I don't think he'll be suing us anytime soon. Sounds like Frenetic Pony's actually Serif. And Lawboy, well, that is obviously this person here. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I should sue him. For stress, I don't know, something. Okay, 27. Okay, it's next floor down. I was gonna have a full sweep of this whole area. Because there's another floor up that I haven't been to yet. Okay, we'll just keep exploring the... Uh, investigating. Investigating these... Uh, Neuroposine thefts. Will Rossellini. Hey, already looted. Hey, who's this guy? Wow. Didn't expect to see you back so soon, Mr. Jensen. I heard you were nearly a goner. Yes, I nearly was a goner. But I'm not a goner, so you don't have to worry. Okay, so 27, and then go through the air duct. 4145. Okay, open up. There's some whiskey over there that I spy on the table. You gotta be some lowlife to steal a man's whiskey, I tell you that much. Steal his money, yes, but steal his whiskey? Ah, it's a different ball game. In fact, what whiskey is it? Is it nice whiskey? A Tango Foxtrot Tasty Whiskey. Real man's bourbon. Guaranteed to get your courage pumping and your heart racing faster than the sound of approaching infantry. Sounds delicious. The Neural Hub. Designed for a next generation. By none other than you, Darrow. Does he have nothing better to do with his time than write these blasted papers? Mm -hmm. Aha, another unlocked computer. Cutting vacation days. If this is the kind of things companies do when they're about to go belly up. Oh. 
You still have a happy hour downtown? <laughs> if we can get away at a decent hour. Yes, it's a typical typical thing, that isn't it? Work it to the bone. Take away your vacation days. Make you work longer hours. <sighs> Disgusting. Ah, and here we are. The office in question. God, ebooks. The place is littered with these damn things. The tyranny of biology. A tra <laughs> transcript of a seminar given by, you guessed it, Hugh Darrow. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please sit down and shut your face. Okay, let's see if there's any news on here. From Margulis, vacation requests. I've just got another phone with Erin from every season. She told me that all these vacation days you've been using up lately haven't been vacations at all. Wait a minute. Wait, did you come to me, sweetheart? I don't have no, no difficulty what we just said in front of the labs. Ah, so maybe this chap has been suffering some kind of uh, post traumatic stress and taking vacation days instead of sick days. Good morning, everyone. So he's been taking excessive sick days. Well, what kind of clue is that to these, to the thefts? Is there anything else that gives the game away here? Have I missed something pivotal? Wait a minute. She's in purchasing. Types out the POs before. Well, there's not. Is this definitely Mika Pine? Mika Pine? Mika Pine? Is this a definitely her office here? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be any clues on her computer other than the fact that she's taking excessive vacation requests. Okay. A couple of security measures. Well, that's the end of that. Line of inquiry shut down at the very start. All right. So now we've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a quick uh, blast around the building, see what I can find before heading up to David Serif for the debrief. Just sort of admire the scenery. Very weird plants, aren't they? Like lights. Well, they are lights, aren't they? Enjoy the music, because I do like this music. Nice and relaxing. I'm not going to talk to anybody. Uh, cafeteria and helipad. There was a place actually down here that I didn't explore, and I want to just have a quick nosy as to where it goes. It was down here. Just out of interest, say. Exit parking, street level. Oh, it's a downstairs way to the helipad. Ah, look. Gust of wind taking the papers. Nice. As I said at the very start, I will be taking my time. I will be admiring such things like that. It seems like a simple thing, a few bits of papers blowing in the wind, but it's, I just, it's nice. It really is nice. Street parking. Ventilation. I'm gonna go through because I get XP for it, of course. Whoa, where the hell am I going? 
Not the foggiest clue, but it looks like fun. Is this near a Have I solved the case? <laughs>